Hey everyone, Electropolitan here, bringing you another F-Zero GX modding tutorial. This time it's going to be on texture mods, and with the help of me, you can make your game look like this. It's beautiful, it's a work of art. Uh, yeah, so I changed the vehicle, textures, as well as the background textures, as you see. So, I'm going to assume you watched my previous tutorial on stage swapping, and you're going to need GX Model Viewer, and the LZ Extractor Pactor thing. So, to find these stage files, excuse me, to find the stage files, you're going to go to your root folder and then your BG folder for background. You can take all these LZ files, oh, and to get the root, you can export that from GC Rebuilder. I mean, I assume you already have that and I've already done that, but just in case. So you have all these LZ files, you can't open them, you can't extract them, you have to have the LZ extractor in another folder, which I have F. I forgot why I named it that. Anyway, I put it in input, I unpacked it with a bat file. Batch, right? I'm not too, not too savvy. So now you have the TPL and the GMA uh, files. TPL is for textures, GMAs are for models. Okay, I found the boost plate icon. Uh, maybe I lost it. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to replace that with a a color swap that I did in paint Paint.net and you could use GIMP as well. Both pretty good So next uh, What did I do next? Oh, yeah, so now that you've saved that at the top save TPL You're gonna take that in the output folder and put them in the input folder Then you're gonna delete the LZ files that were previous previously there and just so I don't have to rebuild the the ISO twice, I'm just gonna do Port Town as well. So I'm gonna show you a skybox for Port Town and what not to do. So uh, skyboxes work in different games. Some do domes. Some do like cubes. And this is it's not really a skybox. I mean, kind of is. It, it loops. You see, I have it's these. Two images side by side and it looped seamlessly pretty much I, I kind of rushed so you want to make sure your image loops which can be a bit tricky so you can see this somewhat loops I, I mean I, I would want it to be better and uh, I'm gonna show you what not to do so let's say you open up this like if you put this image side by side you would definitely notice something on the edges and it would look terrible so don't do images like this. It's pretty hard to find a good image. I've spent a long time <laughs> looking for images. So we're going to take, I think I saved it already. Yeah, we're going to take the TPL GMAs once again, put them from the output into the input, delete the original LZs. Yeah, like I just did. Uh, what am I doing? All right. And then we're gonna start up the batch file. There it goes. So now it's all packed. Back into its original format. Gonna copy it, paste it back in. Uh, why did I go back? Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do Port Town and Casino. Yeah. You want to close your current build. Open it. Uh, save it, override your old one. Well, I do that. I mean, you could make a new one if you want to test something really crazy. Anyway, testing it out. Let's see how it goes. You can already see it up ahead. I have a bit of a frame stutter on my computer. So there it is. Uh, the edge looks a little weird. It's probably because of the lighting effect on it, which I haven't been able to find. So yeah, you could replace pretty much any texture, as you see. <laughs> now, for Port Town, I'm trying to make it outer space themed and I haven't been happy about what I've gone through so I just got rid of the dome up top I I'll come back to it but I just wanted you to focus on the outer textures which it looks okay right now I probably should have done the bottom the ground yeah <laughs> you could make it all lava or water or whatever It'd be pretty goofy um See, so, yeah, I'm trying to find a point. Well, hopefully, so I didn't. Oh, that wasn't the best example, but if you play it back in like half speed, you could probably see a few parts where 
doesn't seamlessly loop. It's more noticeable on Big Blue. Anyway, uh, now we're going to do vehicles and texturing those. So, what were they doing? Oh, yeah, so I'm in the vehicle folder in the root folder. And we are going to input all these LZ files. So, to view the changes, you have to use the LZ files. Now, to commit the changes, you'll do something else. So, I'm opening up those LZ files. Well, I already extracted them. So, now there's TPLs and GMAs. So, you can see there's the TPL of Blue Falcon textures. And here is the model. So together, it's beautiful. Mm. Wait, uh, work of art. So what we could do is take any model and any texture and combine them. So you could, if you're good at arts and crafts and all that, and there you go. Good. Got your calling. I, I for one, am terrible at this, and yeah, I can just do very bare bones replacing. It's just not my strong suit. I'm sure some, some of you, I'm sure some of you guys could come up with some good designs. So once that's done and you're happy with what you have, so let's say uh, hyperspeeder uh, default textures over Blue Falcon. So we're going to do is open up a hyperspeeder, <clears throat> original, and the SVO. So I'm pretty sure the CV is the single player textures and SV are the multiplayer ones. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm fairly certain. And sometimes one crashes, sometimes the other crashes. Typically the multiplayer one crashes, so I'd make sure to test it. Well, I've only tested it like twice. And once the multiplayer one crashed, and the other time it didn't. <laughs> it, oddly enough, it was for... It might depend on the vehicle or the, the texture, if it's too big. Anyway, I got it working. You just rename all the stuff. Uh, yeah, there's Dark Schneider on the other one. Yeah, it works in-game. Looks fine. Looks great. You can only really see the back, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, it works well. And for multiplayer, this one worked out. I just be sure to test it in Dolphin. It'll, just, it'll save you time. But yeah, you just rename files. It's pretty simple. But yeah, as you can see, it works and works well. Yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully I explained everything pretty well. If not, just send a comment and yeah, stay glad.